This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. Today, we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Green Bay Packers. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. Now a play fake here on first down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. 18 more yards there and another first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now here's a throw. It's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Again, it's Jones. Shifts by at the 15. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 45 yards rushing for him here. What a start to the ball game. It's first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And just a short game that time as they're able to get him down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up a shot. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Jones will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to them early and often on this drive, 
and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Love from the gun. That's complete to Dobbs. The result only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down and six now. Here's Love. Completes it again to Dobbs. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Love now to pass on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To the air again, Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 15-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To throw now. Here's Love. And that is 
is incomplete. Now well, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now a second and ten. Love now. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something down. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Jordan Love, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Packers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Oh, some strong running. And now the spin. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That good for 19 on a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. From three yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw. McCarthy. And he is caught. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. To throw on second down. McCarthy setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And just shutting him off there. Jones he scored on the ground and through the air and the Vikings are an extra point away now from tying this ball game well he's used to running it that distance here he had to catch it too before making the run heck of a play for the score there's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it and we just saw him complete a big time play for a touchdown This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And right now we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Love, they go play action now. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. On third down, Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. 
Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. Taking it about the 36. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at the 40. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Ooh, the juke. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now we've got movement up front, and I think this is going to be on Minnesota. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. A check down here to Jones. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play and develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The offense here not budging. They're gonna fight for it on fourth and inches. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. 
They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Now a second down throw for Love here. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Off the bootleg, McCarthy. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 94 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Preston Smith there on the stop. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's what they have to do more defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Throwing on third and long. McCarthy. And this is going to be incomplete. So after three drives, it ended touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. They get bogged down on drive number four. Yeah, I don't know how excited you would be on the other side of the ball that they finally didn't score. You know, you're happy, of course, but at the same time, did you have that much to do with it, or did they just get tired? Maybe it's just a sense of relief at this point. <laughs> now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here. First and 10 at their own 16. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down.
Throwing. Love. He finds his man. Complete. That's Reed. And a quick slant. Good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down now, but that clock rolling. Love looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now throw there by Law, pulled in by Reed. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 32-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Play action this time with Love. Here's a diving catch right side. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Again, it's Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and a couple. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Yeah. 
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Love from the gun on third down. That's complete to Dobbs. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complementary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. Here's second and 10. Throwing again, McCarthy. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. McCarthy. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quinn Walker. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 57 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. Now Love. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. It's a loss of five there on the sack to bring up second and goal. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them, 
Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Love, this is third and goal. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Packers have retaken a third-quarter lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond. It's not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. To throw on second down, McCarthy. And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down and six. Here comes the blitz as they look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw. McCarthy. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. After the penalty, it's Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. So the completion good for seven there. And now it's 
It's third and four. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And here's Ryan right now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. Moving inside the 20, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. He goes 86 yards there on the touchdown run, and the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, skyrocket. right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down and six now from the 26. They'll go again to Jones. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard in the 27. Going for a really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4. Those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, are usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a play fake here on first down. That's caught downfield by Addison. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. 
Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Quay Walker came through to make the sack. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals. They have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage against the run and, of course, on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds here. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack, too. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. McCarthy. Packer pressure and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. To throw now. Here's Love. Completed out left to Dubs. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and three. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Love now. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jacobs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Love now on second down. Who finds his receiver, Watson? They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Going back to Love. 
He's got the hook up with Dobbs. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Now Carlson for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And out now come the Vikings. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Uh, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Back to throw again. Complete to Addison on the out route. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Out well to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. The tackle goes to Harrison Smith. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, Jacobs. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The Packers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he's going to have the Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Love with a give to Dillon, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Here now, second and four. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And able to get him down, but he does. 
has reached the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.